Today, I feel terrible. I might look okay, but the reality is I only slept three hours. I couldn't sleep all night. My body hurts and I puked this morning and I just puked while I was writing the script for this video too. So, I mean, you might be wondering, Kevin, why are you even filming this video? You should be resting. Well, there's a huge reason why I'm not resting right now. You see, my body doesn't feel good, but my mind still does. We're all human. We have good days and we all have bad days. We're not like AI where we can just grind 24 seven. Then today is a bad day for me. Now, the most important thing is that even even if you are having a bad day, you need to do your best to stop it from affecting your mind. Now, if you're sitting from the comfort of your own home and you're having a fantastic day, you've had a great week, great month, even great year, you can't expect to not have one bad day. Many people have many bad days and it's really important to deal with them in a way where it doesn't stop you from getting to where you want to be. Because your ability to get past these negative things will separate you from 99% of the world. And that one word that will help you be in that 1% is persistence. If you're starting a business, you're probably a solopreneur. You probably don't have anybody else with you. And if you do, then you're lucky, but it's still probably just you and somebody else. So yes, you might be splitting those tasks with them, but the thing is, if you aren't doing your work one day, then you're really severely impacting the business. You need to show up every single day because if you don't, nobody else will. If you really want to be in that 1%, you're just not replaceable at the stage of life where you are right now. So even if you try to find somebody else to replace you, it just will not be the same. And if you can stick to this one quote that I live by every single day, then your odds of succeeding and becoming that 1% will change drastically. No matter how you feel, get up, dress up, show up, and never give up. So I'm going to go over three things you need to do if you want to achieve your goals, even on your worst days. The first thing is that you need to set realistic goals. So let's say you want to accomplish something today or even tomorrow, you need to break it down in a way where it makes it a lot more easier for you to achieve. So instead of saying today, I'm going to build a website, you can turn that into today, I'm going to find a name for my website, then I'm going to buy the domain, and then I'm going to start designing it. Because if you haven't realized the number one reason why most businesses fail and why people don't ever even start their business is because they get overwhelmed with what they have to do. So make sure to break down big things and hit the achievable targets first. You obviously know the quote, Rome wasn't built in a day and so isn't your business. Now the second thing is you need to learn from your setbacks. If you're sick, you need to think about why you're sick. Are you sick because you drank too much? Are you sick because you ate something you shouldn't be eating? How did it impact you the next day? Or why did your business fail? Is it because you partnered with the wrong people? Is it because you weren't showing up every day? Is it because you weren't trying every day these are things you need to think about you see life is not a casino because when you put something into the life machine you will get something back if you take a rotten orange and you put it into a blender your juice will still be rotten nothing will change now the third thing is probably the most important thing you need to do you need to have the right people around you these people will pick you up when you're feeling low and they'll pick you up to help you achieve your goals when you don't think you can and to be honest it's really rare to have these types of people around Around you. Although a lot of people say they want good for you, the reality is most people don't even care. So if you don't have people around you that truly have your best interests at heart, then what you need to do is seek inspiration from others. You see, in my case, I'm really fortunate to have a lot of people around me that want to see me do well and actually help me achieve my goal. But there's one person that really helps me stay motivated. So I have to give a special shout out to Kobe because he's the reason why I filmed this video today. I play games with the flu. I play games with 102 degree fever. Man. Because when I retire, I didn't want to have to say, I wish I would have done more. 